Hey everyone, Professor Baldwin here, and this time I have a word problem. The height h in feet of a golf ball after t seconds is given by h equals 96t minus 16t squared. This is a polynomial. Our first question is, how long does it take for the golf ball to hit the ground? Well, what does it mean to hit the ground? That would mean the height, or h, equals zero feet. So substitute that into our equation, and we have zero equals 96t minus 16t squared. This looks familiar. Might look a little weird because the zero's on the left, so let's just shuffle everything around. We can add 16t squared to both sides, and we can subtract 96t from both sides. That leaves us with 16t squared minus 96t on the left equals zero on the right. This is a little closer to the standard form we're used to. Now, first step is our GCF. 16t is the GCF here, and that leaves behind a binomial of t minus 6, and that is equal to 0. Now that it's factored, we use the zero product property. So 16t equals 0, that's our first factor, or t minus 6 equals 0. Solving 16t equals 0, we divide by 16 on both sides, and we get t equals 0. Well, what does t equals 0 mean? That means time is 0, or that's when the golf ball is first hit. It's when we start. Well, that doesn't answer the question of how long does it take for the golf ball to hit the ground. This is when it starts. So it's already on the ground. So we're going to throw that one out. The second one, t minus 6. We add 6 to both sides, and we get time equals 6. This makes more sense. It takes 6 seconds from the time the golf ball was hit for it to hit the ground. And we know that it's seconds because the word problem tells us time is in seconds. So our final answer for part A is t equals 6 seconds. Now part B is asking us to make a table for the six different values of time, 1 through 6. And to do that, we just substitute the value in for t. So 96 times 1 minus 16 times 1 squared equals 96 minus 16 or equals 80. Remember this is height, so all of these will be in feet. And we do the same for the remaining. 96 times 2 minus 16 times 2 squared equals 192 minus 64, so here it's 128 feet. We have 96 times 3 minus 16 times 3 squared equals 288 minus 144 equals 144. And we keep going. 96 times 4 minus 16 times 4 squared equals and you should get 128. I trust that you can keep on doing these. At time five seconds, you should get 80. And we saw earlier, at a time of six seconds, it's back on the ground, so that's a height of zero. So where is it at the maximum height? That would be here, 144 feet at three seconds. Now if you think about it, this makes sense. A golf ball starts on the ground, it gets hit, and follows this parabola shape, and then it comes back down to the ground. So the maximum height 
where the vertex is going to be in the middle. 